Oh my god. Okay. Morning, guys. Um, I'm making this video because I wanted to tell y'all, uh, my coming out story. Um, <clears throat> um, well, I knew I liked guys, um, ever since I was a little kid. I knew I liked guys before I even came out, right? Um, like I had this um this one experience uh some of my friends know already know this story but for those of you that don't know check this out uh, it was kindergarten no first grade um i knew about sex really early and uh you know from seeing it on tv as a kid and then catching your parents you know in the other room making noises and then i did this thing where i peeked inside the door the crack of the door of my my parents room and uh yeah i'm pretty sure we've all had our times like that but i i really knew about it really early and i tried to reenact what i saw really early one day at school first grade it was recess and um <clears throat> Uh, there was this this boy that we we would he was like a good friend he was, I guess you could say he was the only friend I played with during recess at that time and uh, we went inside this these these slides that were at the playground and I remember we were touching each other or something and we were doing things to each other we had no idea what the fuck we were doing we were just doing it. And that went on the entire year. I remember that every single day during recess, we messed around with each other. And, uh, that happened in first grade. And I found the guy, I found that guy on Facebook. And I messaged him. And I knew it was him because <clears throat> I still, I, there's a news, I have a newspaper a piece of cut out newspaper from when uh, we were in the paper petting a cat and I still have that paper and I looked up his name just to see what would pop up and sure enough said he was from Markham and went f and was came from that school before and I was like okay this has to be the same guy it, it looked like him pretty much and then I messaged him saying do you remember this and that and he was like yeah and I was like what's your sexuality man he was like oh yeah I'm bi I remember the hell out of that too don't and uh, he, uh so yeah we keep in contact just as friends of course and uh, that was my first first experience but as far as my coming out story that was in middle school um fourth or fifth grade uh i'm gonna have to say um the f one of the first friends i had ever told during that time i believe was john murray uh, he's a classmate of mine, and uh, everybody knew about me. I came out because I ended up uh, liking a guy, one of my classmates. Uh, he was new, and uh, I don't want to give out a name. I don't want to give out his name, because uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, if I mention your name in this video, it's because uh, I feel comfortable mentioning you, and I know you won't get mad at me for it. So, but for his sake, I don't want to uh, bring up his name. Um, and I believe the last girl that I thought I liked was Caitlin Aguilera. Aguilara. Oh boy. Um. If I'm saying your name right, her name right, that was the last girl I thought I liked. Literally, that was the last one. And that was fourth grade, and by fifth grade I knew I was, I was completely, strictly dickly. <laughs> and, um, so I wrote a letter to this, th this guy. I put it in his locker, uh, during lunch, and I, I remember watching him open his locker in middle school uh, during lunch and 
it fell out and he picked it up and he read it and he looked right over towards me and then that and then during that hour of lunch a lot of people knew about it I don't know exactly which classmates uh, remember that but um it was during lunch and everybody knew like a lot of people knew and then <clears throat> by sixth and seventh grade everybody knew that I liked dudes and so officially I was the first one to come out of the closet in my class of 2012 and then slowly but surely all the girls did first after me and then a couple of guys and um yeah that that's how that's what it was guys uh wrote a letter to a boy one of my classmates i'm not gonna say who uh he found out got a little freaked out by it i thought i thought he liked the guys obviously i was wrong i went through a lot of heartbreak and whatnot uh, that was one of my first heartbreaks, but I wasn't even with him, you know, I got heartbroken because, you know, he wasn't like that, and he didn't want me, uh, you know, kiddish shit, and, um, this, uh, these feelings went on and on <clears throat> for about three, three or four years, and then I stopped liking him by eighth grade, and then when, we, when I got to high school, that's a whole nother story and uh ever since then and here we are in 2015 now and uh oh man y'all wouldn't believe how many dudes from my class have hit it me up now that we've graduated trying to hit me up to either fuck or get in a relationship and i'm like is it gonna be on the download or, or like are you gonna be in the closet about it they're like yeah I'm not I'm kinda of scared like nope nope they're not with me I'm one of the most open people and everybody in my class knows that everybody knows that I don't give a damn so yeah guys that was just wanted to share with y'all how that was talk to y'all later subscribe to me like comment tell me what you think and I'll talk to y'all later